so now our i become 1 upon 32 into beta of 2 comma 3 by 2 here we are going to use the relationship between beta and gamma function that is beta of m comma n is nothing but gamma of n into gamma of n upon gamma of m plus n so we get gamma of 2 into gamma of 3 by 2 upon gamma of 2 plus 3 by 2 is nothing but 7 by 2 what is gamma of 2 gamma of 2 is nothing but 1 what is gamma of 3 by 2 for gamma of 3 by 2 we are going to use the formula that is gamma of n is nothing but n minus 1 into gamma of n minus 1 okay so for gamma of 3 by 2 it will be 3 by 2 minus 1 it is nothing but half into gamma of half what is gamma of half it is root pi so it will be root pi upon 2 so gamma of 3 by 2 is nothing but root pi upon 2 for gamma of 7 by 2 again we are going to use the same formula that is gamma of 7 by 2 is nothing but n minus 1 so 7 by 2 minus 1 is nothing but 5 by 2 gamma of 5 by 2 then again for 5 by 2 we are going to use this formula that is 5 by 2 minus 1 is nothing but 3 by 2 gamma of 3 by 2 and from here we have just calculated gamma of 3 by 2 as root pi by 2 so here we substitute gamma of 3 by 2 as root pi by 2 5 into 2 5 into 3 is 15 upon 4 this 4 into 2 is 8 so 15 upon 8 root pi so in the denominator we get 15 upon 8 into root pi so if we modify this equation this 8 will go in the numerator we will have 8 upon 32 and this 2 will be in the denominator so 32 into 2 and this root pi and root pi will get cancelled okay so we have 8 upon 32 into 2 so we have 8 upon 32 into 2 and here we have 15 so into 15 so 2 1s are 2 2 4 are 8 4 1s are 4 and 4 8s are 32 8 into 15 is 120 so our final answer is i equal to 120 so this is how we solve the problem on beta function type 1 more such problems we will see in our next video so stay tuned for our future lectures